Hi, my name is Cyrus Sutton and I'm here for Adorama TV. Today we're going to talk about how to make money from filmmaking and photography. So a question that gets asked a lot is how do I make a living? One of the best pieces of advice that I've gotten is just start small, start in your own backyard. Find friends who are interested in being involved in your projects. You know, look up on a map of a beautiful place to go. Work with what you got. I think the biggest thing to start with, whether it's filmmaking or photography, is storytelling. Whatever it is you want to do, there's so many niches now, and, and the more you can kind of get an idea about the different tried and true structures that make films compelling and integrating your own ideas into those formulas. There's a lot of people out there who have access now to cameras that allow them to capture a really beautiful image, but if you don't have a story behind that, it doesn't go as far. Once you have something you're really proud of, it's all about sharing it, and it's all about letting more and more people see what you're doing. Social media is a great tool, YouTube, there's all kinds of ways online, but then physically as well, submitting to film festivals, finding exhibitions or organizing screenings, building your community, but also getting different kinds of feedback. You know, not being afraid to get negative comments, or not being afraid to get people not liking your work. And that'll take your, your craft to a much higher level much more quickly. Then you're ready for the next step to actually start going on the path of trying to make this a career, going on a path to making money. It's really important to be very clear on deliverables, both deadlines and the scope of the project so that you can manage expectations and exceed them. Reputation is everything. Delivering on time and delivering a quality product again and again is something that will keep people coming back more and more. In my mid-twenties when I started getting a lot of traction with my work and I started getting a lot of job opportunities, it really became about a work-life balance for me. For me, it's always been about maintaining my creative spark, maintaining my passion for life. If I don't have time to do my own passion projects, the work for clients suffers. What's allowed me to do that is by increasing my rate sometimes and being able to say no to certain projects. What's happened in that is I've been able to produce things I'm really proud of for me and things that keep my creativity going, but then also when I do say yes to projects and jobs, it pays me more. If you can just communicate to people that this is what I'm making and this is the amount of time and this is the bandwidth that I have, nobody takes that personally. Everybody understands where you're at as an artist. Doing this allows me to really stay creative and give fresh content to brands, and that's, that's what people are looking for. If you can consistently produce work that you're proud of and that inspires you, there's a good chance that it's going to inspire other people too. I hope that by sharing what I've learned in, in my career, it's, it helps you find your way. It's so different for everybody. No, there's not one path. You know, some people are more independent. Some people are more collaborative. Good luck and, and thanks for tuning in. This is um, Cyrus Sutton for Adorama TV. Um, it's a YouTube channel, you can subscribe and take care.